Okay, let's continue our talk on factoring polynomials. Um, so remember, factoring, what it is, is it's basically undoing a multiplication. So you're going from one direction to the other. First of all, oftentimes we started off with things that maybe looked like this, and you had to foil this out, x plus 1, x plus 4, foil this out, simplify, combined like terms. You ended up with x squared plus 5x plus 4. So what we are doing is we are now factoring is just going the other way around, okay? You're given the x squared plus 5x plus 4, and you're trying to write it as the product of two binomials. Okay. All right, so that's what we're doing. So we're going to do a couple of different examples for this factoring. First example I'm going to give us is um, x squared minus 15x plus 50. Okay, so how can we factor this? And the way you want to think about factoring is you're trying to come up with two different numbers. Um, they have to multiply to positive 50 and add to negative 15. Okay, so it's multiplying to the last number, adding to the middle number. Um, and in this case, you're going to think of some things that multiply to 50. You can maybe try 25 and 2. That wouldn't work. Um, things like that. It turned out in this case that negative 10 and negative 5 are the two numbers that will work. They certainly multiply to a positive 50, and then when you add them, you do get a negative 15, which means our factored, once we've factored this now, it is now x minus 10, x minus 5. Okay, so that's our factored version right here. One thing that you want to think about is if you wanted to check your work, you would FOIL to check your work. So this is me checking my work. If I were to FOIL this, I would end up with x squared uh, minus 5x minus 10x plus 50. Um, simplify that and you would end up with certainly the middle two like terms can combine. Those two terms can combine into a negative 15x, which this is the original question, so that's me checking my work, which means my answer was this is the factored version, x minus 10, x minus 5. All right, so let's do another one. Okay, what about if I were to give you x squared plus 3x minus 10? How could we factor this? Again, you're looking for two things that multiply to the negative 10 and then add to the positive 3. Think about two things that multiply, certainly 5 and 2, maybe 10 and 1. Um, and it looks like 5 and negative 2 are going to be the numbers that work for us in this example. They certainly multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3. So that means my factored version, I'm now factoring this polynomial as an x plus 5 times an x minus 2. And again, in order to check your work, you would FOIL that out. Okay, so I'll leave that for you guys to check your work. All right, so notice all of the, those two examples that we just did, those were the easy versions of factoring. Okay, and what I mean by that is those are the ones that do not have a coefficient in front of the x squared. Notice on all of those that coefficient was the number 1. So what happens if the coefficient is not 1? Then it becomes more difficult. So let's talk about that. Um, for example, let me give you the example 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. This one is definitely a little bit trickier to factor, but let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, I'm going to talk about it by trial and error first, okay? All right, so I can certainly factor this. I know it's going to end up looking something like this, okay? There's going to be a couple of parentheses and so on. And I know at the end of the day, whatever I get when I factor, it has to FOIL to equal my original question. So I know I'm going to need a 2x here and an x here in order for those to multiply to the 2x squared that I have. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to try and do maybe a, some trial and error. So these numbers here are going to be your sort of trial and error. Let's see if we can figure this out. I know they're going to have to multiply to a 5, uh, to a negative 5 at one point. So maybe let's try, um, let's try that. Let's do a, oops, let's do a positive 5 and a negative 1. I'm totally just guessing here. That's kind of what trial and error is all about. So how do we figure out if that's right or wrong? Well, let's FOIL. Okay, so 2x times x is going to give me the 2x squared. 2x times negative 1 is a negative 2x. 5 times x is a positive 5x. 
Is that right? Yeah, there we go. And then 5 times negative 1 is a negative 5. So when those terms combined, I got 2x squared. I got plus 3x minus 5. So this is not the original. So this is definitely did not work. When it doesn't work, let's just keep trying. So try again. All right, so the 5 and negative 1 didn't work in that order. Let's erase that and try a different one. Let's do this is trial and error. Uh, maybe switching the 5 and and 1. Sometimes that'll help. So maybe I'll put maybe I'll put the negative 1 here and the positive 5 here, okay? And again, when you're checking your work, you're just foiling, okay? And you'll get to the point that you can skip a lot of these steps and be able to foil in your head, and that's great. So I've got the 2x squared. 2x times 5 gives you a 10x. Negative 1 times x gives you a negative 1x. And then negative 1 times 5 gives you the negative 5. Combining those like terms, I got 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 which is the original. Okay, so since that was the original question, that means that my answer is 2x minus 1 times x plus 5. Okay, so that's how we factor this. Um, and we can talk about other ways to factor this as well, which you've seen in some other videos. There are two ways to factor this. So we'll do the other way for this one as well, just so we can see both ways. 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. So the other method here would be find two numbers that now you need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 10. Okay, I took the negative 5 and the 2, the first and the last numbers, and multiplied those together. And you need two numbers that add up to the 9. So it still has to add to the middle number, which in this case is the 10 and negative 1. Okay, and then what you do if you're not doing the trial and error method is you rewrite the polynomial. Um, first one stays the same. And in the middle one, you use those two numbers, the positive 10 and then the negative 1. Both of them will have an x because our middle term has an x. And then you will do factor by grouping. So I'll split this into two groups and go ahead and factor each one of those. Okay, first one, there's a 2 and an x in common. I'm left over with an x plus 5. The second one, there's a negative 1 in common, and I'm left over with an x plus 5. So now the x plus 5 is in common and I'm left over with the 2x minus 1. So that is the other way to factor. So again, doesn't matter which method you choose. There's two ways. You get the same answer, and that's how we factor. So